uh, retake that last city. Hooray! The day is ours! Blundenberg wants to, uh, wants to become our ally, so why the hell not? So now we're back up to plus three stability, uh, which means we're going to be making... Plenty more, mo plenty more money, and now I can start to re. Because every time you run out of money, you automatically take out a loan. So I ended up because I was fighting a war. I wasn't so focused on my economy. So I ended up losing a lot of money in the war. And now I've got to start repaying off some of my loans. successfully put down. So, you know, at this point, there's not a whole lot more going on. I mean, I've also, uh, before I forget you, gained prestige through combat. And after you fight a whole bunch of people, you gain a lot of prestige. So, that's why my prestige is now plus 47. Because uh, I beat so many people so badly. So, there's not a whole lot going on right now. I've got to uh, decrease my infamy. And I've got to start paying off my, my loans from that war. So, I think you guys got a pretty decent idea about what the game's going to be like from this. Also, um, you know, we're off to a pretty decent start. We got to... Uh, bunch of new territories, a new vassal, beat uh, beat some pretty powerful uh, states in a war, and uh, also are allied with the Poles to the south, and uh, another German state, so we've got a pretty good, we're in a pretty good position at this point, uh, besides my minor internal, uh, you know, stripes and, and my debts, but right now I'm making, uh, fifty dollars a year annually so I'll be able to pay those loans off in a couple of years provided I still keep making that kind of money so before we go or before I end things for this let's play let's just save the game and then you click resign and one of the coolest things about this game I think is that every time you quit it gives you a a history of your country and what kind of wars you fought and how you did and uh, so on and so forth. So now let's just uh, let's just read our history that from what we accomplished. So up here, up here it says uh, the Teutonic Order. We have a tarnished rep rep uh, reputation, and the people emulate our styles. But um, right now. My leader, uh, Conrad, I just call him Conrad, who ruled from January 1st, 
1393 to October 18th, 1408, uh, he committed these acts during his reign. The unsuccessful Muscovite conquest of Yaroslav lasted two years. An important an important event was the Battle of Moskva, where the Muscovite forces led by Vasily Vasily the First attacked Fyodor and his Rosarian forces. The fifteen uh, the fifteen thousand nine hundred and forty five men strong Muscovite army was almost unscathed against the one thousand nine hundred and forty nine uh, Rosarian defenders who lost almost all their forces. That was talking about the uh, war early on in, in the Let's Play, where I was allied with uh, the Muscovites, and they fought a war, and because I went in with them in that war, it considers it part of my history as well, but uh, I didn't really fight any battles in that war, and didn't gain any territory from that war, then when I declared war on somebody else, the Muscovites abandoned me, so, uh, whatever, anyway. Conrad took part in the epic war of Teutonic aggression, and our armies were competent. An important event was, uh, sorry, the important event of the war was the Battle of Puskov, when the Teutonic forces, led by Uruk uh, von, uh, I just, Jugjigen? <laughs> I don't even know. Anyway, I'll just call, I, I'll just always call them by their first names, led by Uruk, who attacked John the First and his uh, Puskovan forces. The 8,000 men strong Teutonic army was almost unscathed, and the 1,000 uh, Puskovan defenders lost almost all their forces. The unsuccessful, what do you mean unsuccessful, conquest of Riga lasted five years. The most decisive battle one was 18,484 men, led by the Teutonic Uruk, suffered some losses attacking the 10,000 284 strong Hungarian army who suffered some losses. On January the 30th, 1004, uh, 1004 of the infidels. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Pulling that, pulling that back a little bit. This isn't the war anymore. The war is over. We won. Anyway, on the 30th of January, 1404, the infidels of Samogata embraced the true faith. The reign of Conrad saw the provinces of Riga and Posca gained. And then our new leader, um, Ludwig Franz the um, First, due to lack of anything of note, Ludwig Franz the First is known throughout history as Ludwig Franz the First the Boring. But that's because we haven't done anything yet with him. We, he just came to power, uh, pretty much when I quit. So that gives you a little bit of a taste what the. Uh, EU3 Let's Play is going to be like. I really hope you guys enjoyed that, and you'll be seeing more of this game in the future, but for now, this is going to be Joseph Yusron at Salon signing off. But before you guys go, I'm going to encourage you to go to the playlist listed in every single one of these videos. Go to those videos and bring home the bacon on every single one. It'll take you 30 seconds, and it'll be much appreciated and help me out tremendously. Also, uh, I will encourage you guys all to add me on Facebook. It's probably the best way to reach me now. And I'm gaining a small army of friends which is is pretty sweet, so, you know, add me up there, that would also be appreciated, and you guys take care.